I want to make a video, and uh, this video might end up being a little controversial because it's about Jesus Christ. Um, you know, I think he's a big, he's a hot topic. He's a really hot topic in, in you know, modern day society. Dude's been a hot topic for about 2,000 years, as far as I can tell. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know that he was necessarily the son of God. I mean, there's no way to know, really. I think, but it's, it's all in what you believe. But I don't. Re I don't believe that. I think he was. Uh, I mean, look at the dude. He, he had a beard, had long hair, wore robes. Dude was a hippie, and that's like it wasn't. That wasn't the, the style back then to dress and act like that. I mean, it was the Romans. You know, they shaved faces, short hair. Dude was a fucking hippie, dude. He, I'm sure he smoked weed. There was, there's this, I don't want to quote it because I don't know exactly, but there's this group of people called the Elysians, and uh, they were like 600 AD, it was this group of people, and they would um, take a poison in the bread. They would put poison in their bread, and they would eat it, and then they would drink wine, and they would trip balls, and they would see God, and then... I was talking with my neighbor, he was telling me all about this, and he let me borrow the book actually, he said that the Christians came and then just kind of took over where the Elysians left off, and you know, there's no way to know if they used a lot of drugs, but people that see God, literally see God, I can't imagine that that would happen without some kind of hallucinogenic drug, you know, there's no magic powers, it's, it's just about belief, but I mean, how can you get your perception to that point without it? I'm not saying that he couldn't, that Jesus didn't even do miracles, because like, yeah, it's perception, you know, if people believe that he is doing what he is doing, then it's real. If he believes it, then it's real for him. And if he, I think the thing about him was that he was just so unfucking believably charismatic, and people were just so drawn to him, and loved him, and <coughs> I think then he, he ended up either, I don't know. I don't know, doing too many drugs, or just letting it, no, not it wasn't even drugs, because who knows if there even were, but I think he let it get to his head, because he started to say, like, worship me, worship me, and it's not about him, it wasn't about him, it was about what he was saying, it was about the communication, the dude knew that if you opened up to people, and you communicate with people, and turn the other cheek, the forgiveness is divine, with kindness, with genuine openness, and to lead, lead by example, to do it, to live it, that will change the world. And if he had had YouTube to express his ideas, could you imagine that? Could you fucking imagine if that had happened? Like what the possibility was? Like I think of myself as a Christian in a lot of ways because I think what he was talking about is amazing. The ideas that he, that he had for relationships and communication his understanding of people and then like of his surroundings, that he was so in tune. I wonder a lot about it. I mean, you can't get too, you know, there's no way to know. So that's what bothers me kind of about organized religion is when people say that they know. Like that it's right. It's nothing's right or wrong. It was a group of people that believed it or believe it. It doesn't make it right. And, uh, you know, I want to, I want to live that, that kindness, but at the same time, I'm not going to worship him. I'm not going to worship a person. It's fucking nonsense. You can't worship people. Nobody. I don't ever want people to worship me. Ever. Ever. It is not about me. It's not about any one of us. We have to re remember that this is, so much of it is about the communication between two people. So, what I was thinking about earlier, this just, I just re realized this, remembered this. This is what I think, this is what I'm going to start doing more of. And what I would encourage other people to do more of. Rather than just make videos and post them. Let's make videos and post them to each other. I mean, we can, you know, do both, but let's make a specific point to do video responses to each other.
and, and forget about the text comments. I mean, we could do a text comment, you know, comments are comments, comments are great, but, and a lot of people are already doing this, but I think that if you leave the video comments, that's how conversation gets started. Leave video comments to people when they post one video. You know, re react, get people involved, give people, you know, show people that, sh that you actually are interested because I am. I'm incredibly interested. Uh, Chad, I'm glad that you're on now. And my buddy Dave came up from San Diego last night and he just put two videos up. So I'm going to post this in response to you, Dave, because it was our conversation. We just talked about Jesus like all night, but it was our conversation like about Christianity and about this idea of openness and genuine, you know, all this. It was wild, you guys. I wish you could have been there. I wish I, I guess we could have had the video camera on. We did a little bit. Anyway, he's on now. He's cool as hell. So I'm going to respond to him with this video. And um, I would like to hear what you guys have to think about Jesus. Because it's, you know, it affects pretty much everyone's life. At least everyone that's influenced by Christianity. So let's talk about it.